Hello, good evening everybody, and thank you for joining us for story time. Um, each week I will read a story out of our children's Bible, and I'm using the Deep Blue um, Bible Storybook by Cokesbury. Um, and each week I have one of our families uh, pick a number in the book. Um, there's 500 pages in our Bible, and they will pick a number between 1 and 500. And this week it was the Wilson's family a turn to pick, and they picked page number 368. So we will get to read all about that tonight. Now, tonight's story comes from the New Testament, which we've all learned um, has happened once Jesus is alive. So everything in the Old Testament is before Jesus was born, and everything um, in the New Testament was either once Jesus was born or um, after he was born or after he died. So tonight we will learn about what is on page 368. And I will give you a little hint. It is all about a little man with a big problem. So any guesses yet on what the story might be if it's a little man with a big problem? Okay, let's find out together. So Jesus taught the crowd by telling this story. Two men went to the temple to pray to God. One man was a Pharisee, a church leader. The other man was a tax collector. And no one liked tax collectors. Do you guys want to guess why nobody liked tax collectors other than the fact that they took everybody's money? Well, it wasn't just because they took everybody's money, but it was also because they were cheaters. And nobody likes a cheater. Have you ever played a game or something with a friend and they cheated or maybe your brother and sister? Nobody likes a cheater because cheaters never win and it's just not very fair. And tax collectors always cheated because they took too much money. So not only were they taking your money, but they were taking too much of it. And you need your money to buy food and clothes and all sorts of things. And people would, or the tax collectors would take too much. And so people didn't like that very much. You wouldn't want somebody taking your hard earned allowance. So the verse stood up and spoke his prayer out loud. Dear God, thank you for who I am. I am so good. I am not a bad person. I do not lie or steal or cheat. I am not like this tax collector. I do everything right. I say all my prayers, I share my money with the poor, and I never break your rules. The tax collector was ashamed of himself. So ashamed means feels bad. So the tax collector was feeling kind of bad about himself. He stood away from the people in the temple with his eyes looking down at the floor. Remember kids, a temple is kind of like another word for church. So it was their version of a church if they were in the temple. So he was at the church and the tax collector was feeling bad. So he stood away from the people in the temple with his eyes looking down at the floor. Dear God, the tax collector prayed, I am so sorry for all the wrong choices I have made. I am not perfect. Please forgive me. The tax collector beat his chest and cried out loud. Jesus finished his story for the people. God loves us all. No, no one is better than anyone else. Which is true. God loves all of us. Even when we're doing things that we shouldn't do and we're making bad choices, God loves us no matter what. And when we tell God about the bad choices that we made in our prayer, we don't necessarily have to tell our mom and dads, which it's a good thing when you do tell your mom and dad if you do something bad. But when you tell God that you do something bad and you feel really bad and sorry for it and you pray and you ask for forgiveness, that makes God ha more happy than anything. So I wanted to continue our story because it goes into Zacchaeus on the next page. Now Zacchaeus was a wee little man with really big problems. So let's find out about that. So Jesus was walking through the town of Jericho, and a tax collector named Zacchaeus was there in Jericho and wanted to see Jesus walk by. He was too short to see over the crowd, so he ran ahead and climbed a tree. When Jesus got to the tree Zacchaeus had climbed, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down. I must stay at your home today. Zacchaeus immediately climbed down the tree, happy to see Jesus to his home. Oh, there on that page, we have a picture of Zacchaeus. And there's Zacchaeus in the tree with Jesus. So do you think that this made other people happy that Zacchaeus um, had Jesus over to his house? What do you think? So remember, Zacchaeus was a mean tax collector that stole and cheated. And then there Jesus was going over to his house. 
Now that made a lot of people mad because they thought that Jesus shouldn't go over to Zacchaeus' house because Jesus should only spend time with the good people or the people that made good choices. Why would Jesus want to go over to somebody's house who was mean and stole and cheated and made bad choices? They were a little upset by that. So let's find out what happened next. So the crowd was unhappy with Jesus for being a guest of a tax collector. They grumbled because tax collectors were known for being unfair. Now Zacchaeus heard what the crowd was saying, and he looked at Jesus, and he made him this promise, Lord, I will give half of everything I own to the poor, and if I have cheated anyone, I will repay them four times what I took. So not only did Zacchaeus know that he did something wrong, he told Jesus that he was sorry, and he wasn't just going to repay everybody, but he was going to repay them four times what he stole from them. That's a lot of repayment. Jesus knew Zacchaeus meant what he said. And Jesus said, Zacchaeus, today you have been saved. So I don't know if you guys can think of any time in your life where maybe you've cheated or you've made a bad choice and you'd wanted to make it right. Like if you've ever broken something, you want to make it right. So sometimes we say we're sorry and that helps, but sometimes you also have to do a little something too to maybe help, um, not repay the person, but to, you know, help make things right. So I remember once when I was younger, I broke something of my mom's and I wanted to fix it. I tried to glue it back together. Now that didn't work. It was still broken, but I still tried. I wanted to fix it and make it better. So when Zacchaeus said not only to Jesus, I'm sorry, but he also repaid all of the money back four times. He was trying to make amends. He was trying to make it right. So I want you kiddos to think this week of ways, uh, maybe in the past, that you've made a mistake or maybe mistakes that you might make in the future and how you can not only just say that you're sorry, but also say, or also find ways to, you know, kind of maybe help repay your debt. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me on this Rainy It's Rainy right now in Kansas City. So thanks for joining me this rainy evening for story time. And I will see you back here this coming up Thursday um, at 2 p.m. And we will be doing, um, I have two crafts for us to do um, for Zacchaeus. Um, one food craft and one um, craft that involves a little bit of paint. So I hope to see you back there, or back here um, Thursday at 2 p.m. And I hope everybody has a great rest of your evening. Enjoy the rain. Good night.